guys, so today we're here with my daughter Harley at her house and we are going to take a little walk around her house and we'll pick out, well I'm going to pick out which house plants that I like the best just based solely on how they look because you know I'm real shallow like that. Alrighty, so I finally made my selections. It was hard, it was really hard because she has a lot of freaking house plants and I love them all honestly, but so We've got him out here on the lovely patio, and we're just going to go through, and I'll tell you why I liked each one. And then Harley can maybe tell us why, if she likes them. Oh, yeah, if any of why. them would be my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Look at you, you little genius. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so I made my selections, and now I'll just share them with you, and then um, I'll tell you why I made the selection, and then Harley's going to tell you if I made a good selection. <laughs> that works. Yeah. Okay. So, there you go. Oh, look. Axel's watering the plant. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. Her change instead of my leg. <laughs> yeah. Her dog just got a drink and he's got It's funny because a lot of water. he will drink water and then seriously every single time he'll come over to me and drip it on my leg and it drives me nuts. Yeah. So now he was watering the plant. Yeah. What a good dog. <laughs> Comes in handy. <laughs> it pays off to have a dog. Yeah. <clears throat> so this was the first one I chose. Harley said it's a type of thyme. Um, I like it because it's got the little poof of the tree on top and this nice trunk. trunk. We already went over this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, it's got some cute little pink and white flowers on the top and the pink flowers match this base. Or pot that she has it in really nicely so it's cute how do you feel about it I would say I love this plant but it wouldn't be one of my top five favorites okay because yeah. I just have I feel like I have some more like more interesting ones that are more unique let it be I hope the bee comes out here y'all because <laughs> she's afraid oh it is a bee <laughs> Oh, it's but it's a little one. Me, it's not the bee. <laughs> we won't even get into that right yeah, now. Yeah. Anyway, it wouldn't be in my top five, but I do love it. I can respect okay. your decision. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. But you had me that one. Yeah. All right. And then this was the second one I chose. Um, this is a bridal veil. It's a school. Oh. I live by a school. One moment. Is it done? Okay, so this is a bridal veil. Um, I, I've got one of these too. I really like it because I like how it has the purple trailing foliage and then the, the new growth kind of is just growing up and it's a nice light green color. So yeah, it just kind of does its own thing. I think it looks really good. And you know what? At the beginning when you chose this one, I didn't think you were going to choose it because it's kind of like we both have it. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm thinking about it, if I could only save five of my houseplants, this would be one of them. This would. Yeah. I wouldn't even save the original. I would save this one. It's a beauty. Yeah, so I agree. I agree here. Good choice. Yay. <laughs> hey, we agree. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a first. Wow. <laughs> All right, and then number three is this cute little Norfolk Island Pine. I really like these. I think they look a lot different than any other houseplants. You know, like I can't think of any other houseplants that look like this. Yeah. So it's just like a straight up tree. Yeah. With a branch in a pot. <laughs> yeah. And like it doesn't have to be Christmas to appreciate this little guy. He's adorable. So. And um, I really like this pot she has them in too. Very cute. And I feel weird. <laughs> she gave this one to me for Christmas. <laughs> and now she's going to tell me she thinks this is the worst pot ever. <laughs> Not the worst pot. It just wouldn't be in my top five. <laughs> I do love it though, thank you. Okay. I really do love mm -hmm. it, but it just wouldn't make top five for me. I mean, this was one of the first plants I got, so I'm like emotionally attached to it, but, but she thinks it's ugly. 
<laughs> but now I've just grown. I don't know. It wouldn't be one of my top five, even though I feel bad saying. No, it's okay. Okay, but I do love it. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Awkward. Okay. All right. Oh. Are you? Oh. You're breathing a little hard there. <laughs> Okay, so this is her curly lipstick plant. Um, I really like this one because it's different. It's really full. It's growing just all around. It's got the hangy things that I love, the nice thick leaves that, oh, they're just so... They are very I succulent. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure when it gets flowers, I'll love it even more. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, this wouldn't be in my top five. <laughs> Surprise. I know. Why do we not agree on most of them? This Maybe is weird. Maybe you should go through and pick your top five out. Maybe, huh? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Kay. This wouldn't be in my top five. Okay. I don't know why I do really love it. It just doesn't, like, I don't feel like, <laughs> people are going to think I'm a freak. I don't feel connected to it, if that makes <laughs> sense. Tree hugger. <laughs> Plant hugger. I know people are. I'm gonna cut that because people think I'm a freak. I'm sure, but I don't. I'm not like emo emotionally invested in this one. I have to tell you a story really quick, you guys. Um, I used to work at like a um, garden center, and they also sold chickens, chicks and stuff. And this one time, this lady came to buy chicks, and usually they just tell you what color they want, and you reach in and grab them for them, you know, and not this lady she had to look at each one and see which one she connected with and that's what that's I'm me <laughs> i'm the chicken lady yep yep so. except for plants and this just wasn't that plant yeah, it's okay i love her but not that much Shh, it's okay it's okay. <laughs> okay and then lastly i chose the sedum i really like it just because it's really full and dense and I like the color of it and the leaves are all really delicate and cute and it just looks really healthy so this one's hard because it, again initially I was going to say it wouldn't be in my top five but this is one I feel like kind of like you at the end I might have thrown in there because it is really cute and it looks really cute I have it in like this plant stand with this pot like it just looks, I don't know, the whole, the whole aesthetic going on here <laughs> is really cute. Like as a whole, I really do love this one. Just sit it in there. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> no respect. Yeah. There we go. I don't know. This might, oh gosh, I, do I have to say yes or no? Or can I say maybe? Well, if you're going to go through and choose which plants. Yeah, we'll see. It might be one of my top five. We'll see. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you for throwing that in there. Okay. Okay, oh, so I went through the house and picked my top five favorite plants. And I have to be honest, it was, as I was going through and picking them, I realized that they weren't the ones I thought I would pick, like, right off the bat. Like, I just kind of went through and looked at them all. And I became the crazy chicken lady, basically. <laughs> Just if I felt, if I felt something, I picked it. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the very first one I picked was this sad little zebra plant. If you watch my videos in the past, I'm sure you already know I really like wonky, like kind of sad plants. <laughs> <laughs> like it runs in our family that's how we I chose our husband <laughs> <laughs> oh too real no i'm just kidding <laughs> our husbands are awesome they, get it. mostly <laughs> anyway whoops <laughs> yeah i don't know this one i just really love i think it's cute how it's a trunk see how i picked that word right out uh -huh. a trunk with the leaves at the top and it does have specific care needs, but I really appreciate the fact she that it doesn't know what they are. Yeah, I, no, I didn't know what they are. I just I didn't know what they were, so I had it in like direct light, uh -huh. and now that I've moved it, like it's getting a lot of new leaves. Yeah. So I don't know. I really appreciate that it can bounce back. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's ugly. 
exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I mean, I can get it. It's you like, can understand it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get attached to things that you have like to cater to more, basically. That's so true. Mm -hmm. That is really true. And this guy has been a struggle, but now that he's about to be happy, that makes me happy. Mm hmm well, I hope he's about to be happy. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> he looks good. Yeah. At least look good. Okay, the next plant I picked is this guy, this arrowhead plant. I love it. It doesn't need anything. <laughs> it can survive on its own. It doesn't need me, and I can really appreciate and respect that. And I always get so, like, more than almost any other plant, I get so excited when I notice it's getting new leaves and it's having new growth here and two new leaves down here. And I literally do nothing for this one. So it, it had to be top five for sure. Like in a heartbeat, if I could only choose one plant, this would be it. And I have to say I'm really happy about this because it's a cutting that Harley got for me that I got from my mom. So it's like been passed down through three generations already. And it's still kicking ass. It's beautiful, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Uh, um, next, I chose my Clathia. It has one really struggling leaf. I need to cut it off, but it's just hard for me to let go sometimes. <laughs> uh, but this is the first plant I really ever like super fell in love with. I just love the how this has that like what's it called the circadian rhythm. Oh, is that know. the word mm -hmm. where the leaves move? I don't know. It just really honestly it like s helped me get into plants more because it was so interesting and cool and. I love the way it moves at night, and then also every so often I'll just randomly get all of these growths off of it, and I just think it's really pretty. And it's easy to take care of, but ignore that one ugly leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I could, yeah, and it's really cool how just the pattern on each leaf, they're just amazing. That looks like someone did art. Like on painted them. it, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is a cool plant. You should paint some nails like that. You're brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> So they keep telling everyone. <laughs> huh. Okay, getting down, narrowing it down to the last two plants was actually kind of hard. It didn't seem hard, but in internally it felt really hard. Uh, but next I chose my fiddle leaf fig. I love this one because it honestly has just thrived for me since I brought it home. It's gotten like four new leaves, so all of these ones are new. Oh, one, two, Look three, there. four, five. Me six new leaves for me since I brought it home and I haven't had it that long. I bought it with you, do you remember? It uh, was it was up to here. At Jane Dave? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember how big it was. It was this big. So it's gotten yeah. six new leaves for me and it's just been doing really well. It's getting a new leaf now and I feel super proud. Like honestly I probably FaceTime everybody I know and tell them like, hey <laughs> just so you know my fiddle leaf <laughs> fig is having a new baby leaf. <laughs> but I love this one a lot. It's really pretty. Do you I agree? Like well, I already picked Oh, my so five. you don't agree. But I like that one a lot. Yeah. But, like, this is so cool. I swear it's double the size it was this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I'm making that up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then the last one was really hard because I felt a lot of pressure, and I thought I was going to pick my Monstera. <laughs> like, I thought in my core I was going to pick the Monstera, but I ended up having to pick my Dwarf Pagoda. I recently got this one and I picked it because I think it's super interesting like it's really different from any of my other plants I don't really see too many plants like this yeah and that's why I picked it and I love how like compact the leaves are I don't know yeah it's really cute you know what is that a booger <laughs> an eye booger oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. It looks like it's getting little tiny berries on it or something. Where are those flowers? I don't know. It does get berries, but I think those might be leaves. New oh, leaves. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah. Anyway, those were... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Those were my <laughs> top five favorite houseplants of my own compared to my mom's top five favorite plants of mine. Uh, later on, we'll do a video, like, vice versa at her house, mm -hmm. so be on the lookout for that. Please let us know what you think in the comment section down below, and thumbs up the video if you liked it, and if you have any video requests, you could also let us know, and we'll definitely do it, or consider it at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Hang Bye. on, though. Hang on, though. One second. <laughs>
I just wanted, okay, okay. I just wanted to say if you can tell us if you think I'm right or she's right. Just for Oh, fun. that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Who do you agree with? Mm -hmm. Do you agree with me or do you agree with my mom? <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> So that's that. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great day. I'm going to put Harley's channel here. And so make sure to check out her channel. I'm sure you probably have already because she's way more popular. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. That's not true. But anyway, um, have a good day. And remember, remember? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. Ready? One, two. Three. Clan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>